Okay, so let's look at a few examples about Boolean algebra based on what you've already done. All right, so if you're looking at your summary rule sheet, uh, you see a rule that says x and x is equal to x. All right, so that would mean that b and b is equal to what? b. So we're going to take this and replace it with b. So we have y equals b r. So let's look at another one. So also on your sheet, you should see, if you're looking at your summary sheet, you should see a rule that says x and not x are equal to zero. Right? So that would mean that b and not b are equal to zero. So those two things are going to be equal to zero. So we have y equals zero uh, and r, right? And then you have a rule that says that x and zero is equal to what? That's equal to zero as well. All right, so this one ends up working out to be zero and r. So that's x and zero is also going to be the same as zero and r. They're going to be equal to zero. So this ends up y is equal to zero for our final answer. All right, so you have a rule on your sheet that says something about x or x, all right? And so what did you learn about x or x? x or x is equal to x. So that means that these two pieces can be replaced with just x and we have y equals x. So similarly, if we look at this rule and we're still using our x or x is equal to x, okay? Now we're just letting this piece be x. So I have two exactly identical pieces. So that means that that's going to be y is equal to b, c, right? Okay, we have a rule then about y is equal to, here I have one for x and x. So if you look at your sheet, well, we talked about this a minute ago, x and x is equal to x. So that means that this will just simplify to be x. Right? So we have y equals x. So similarly, we can use that same rule here, and there are a couple of ways you could do it. You'll notice that I have an identical term here and here, so I could just use a and b in place of x. Right? And so I would rewrite the rule here to be a and b and a and b is the same as, oops, I changed pages, is the same as is equal to a, b. So this just becomes y equals a and b. Another way I could look at this is I can rearrange that expression y equals a and B and A and B to be A, A, B, B. And then A and A becomes what? Just A. So we have Y equals A and B and B. And then B and B is the same as B. So we end up with the same answer. Y is equal to A and B. Alright, so let's look at y is equal to not a and b and 0, all right? Well, any number x and 0 was equal to what? That's equal to 0. So if you just choose to combine it here, all right, that would become y is equal to not a and 0. And then we're going to apply that same rule. So not a and 0 is still going to be equal to 0. All right. So now let's look at this rule. All right. We have 
y is equal to b and not c and 1. All right. So x and 1 is equal to x. So that means that not c and 1 is going to be equal to not c. So if I just replace not c and 1 with not c, I get for my final answer y is equal to b and not c.